Today we are making sawfish fritters from scratch and I'm we have begun with cutting up our ingredients. So in this bowl we have some onions and the wife is cutting up scallions over there. How much onion is that babe? Half. Half of a medium sized onion and that is two stalks of scallion mm -hmm. or one. Two two stalks of scallion so the ingredients are as follows onion scallion and she's gonna yeah use country pepper right mm -hmm. and country pepper next and the saltfish is being boiled as we speak and what is that saltfish um madam um how much pounds of saltfish 12 ounces 12 ounces of saltfish so we are in for a treat this morning saltfish fritters from scratch this is how to make saltfish fritters from scratch and this is the traditional saltfish fritters this is not our our um you know modified version or anything now in every household in jamaica people do their things a little bit different from each other all right doesn't mean it changes the tradition or it doesn't mean that it changes the taste or the outcome so this is how we do ours and you can do yours as as you personally like all right so welcome to yada belly tv and our selfish fritters so onion and scallions down next we have what the, the pepper tomatoes tomatoes please do not say that word in here tomatoes next so in this part we have our salt fish that's just been boiled and guys you have to boil it and test the saltiness and uh, for fritters you don't really for us we don't really um make it too fresh all right we keep a little bit of the salt in so we're just gonna um take this out of the pot and then pick it up and yeah you will see the recipe as we go along so this is 12 ounce of salt fish and yeah next to, we have the tomatoes so now we're cutting our tomatoes and the tomato is one of those ingredients that you have an option with whether or not you want to add it right yes some folks don't add tomatoes to their fritters because they said it make it soggy you know but what you can do is take out this part which is what i usually do oh you just take out the seeds yes and just use the the flesh the muscle. outer flesh yeah uh -huh. so that's one of the trick to using tomatoes guys you know take out the seeds so that they don't add ex excessive moisture to your fritters uh -huh. and guys i am narrating this video in a with an air of excitement because my wife is the fritters and dumpling queen so whenever fritters is made in my house we get extra extra excited because it is a good look it's a very much so good look <laughs> so it shows how you cut up your tomato now oh into small dices mm -hmm. you don't want to have big pieces of anything in your fritters because remember it's a small, you know, thing, a small item. Mm -hmm. So you just want a little bit of everything in there. So you make them small, you know. A right little piece of right tomato, up. a little bit of the onion, a little bit of the saltfish. Well, you can't give enough saltfish. Right. <laughs> enough saltfish, look a bit of everything else. And the saltfish pieces must be bigger than the rest of stuff. That you mean. Mm -hmm. You understand? But it me like what go on. And your knife skills have improved drastically, I, I tell you. <laughs> You're getting more and more skilled in the kitchen um, as it relates to using professional knife and them thing there. Because I just completed you know? knife school, that's why. Oh, you got knife school? Mm -hmm. That means I may sleep with the door, room door lock. Because <laughs> you know, so when we're there back in Jamaica, we have the little knife with the board angle. We use it, cut everything. Mm -hmm. Chicken, cement, yam, 
you cut everything with a knife there. but when you get this knife now this new chef knife type of vibe you have to learn how to manage them properly so all right let me, let me stop talk we'll move on to what next the sausage i was putting out you will see all right so the next step is coming up i'll tell you nice 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 it looks so pretty i tell you so what is next i'm using some fresh thyme and thyme. again thyme is optional very optional i don't think most people use thyme i don't know let it us just... know in your comment section if you put thyme in your fritters but i don't believe everybody does I mean, like the idea that when you when you take a bite of the fritters, you get some herbs, unique herbs and flavors like that in it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, time is an, is is not necessarily an option for us, but some people may not want to taste the time or you know whatever. So I'm trying to just get the herbs and not the sticks and not the sticks because it's not a good stem. Look, not a good feel. Mm -hmm. A bit chomping on stems. So you're gonna pick the leaves off the time mm -hmm. and keep back all of the stems you can throw the stems in your soup pot yeah and you just want the fragrance of it you don't want to put too much so that's beautiful part, you know. beautiful and what's the next thing the next thing is our scotchy sure we bam jeez um peas what's your scotch bonnet pepper there Everybody. so you use the whole of that you're crazy why would i you think you should have used the whole line everybody know i'm not really a big pepper advocate but fritters have to have a little spice to it you understand me mm. smell strong though <laughs> yes it's too much all right all you do just watch your finger the knife and the pepper and guys if you're not a pepper pro let me tell you a trick you have to take out the seeds and the membrane if you don't want it to be super duper hot i mean i think you should take out all of the membranes well if we take out the seeds yeah, because the seed is what I don't carry. need any more seeds in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. All right. So this you want to super duper fine chop. Go on, girl. <laughs> yeah, keep chopping like that. Beautiful that can be added because because it's been, it's been previously frozen mm -hmm. it's gonna basically dissolve um into the, the butter so you're not really have to pressure yourself you're gonna get all the flavor but you won't have generally pieces of of, of um stuff you know See, so the pepper is added one seed escaping of somebody else the case of the escape seed <laughs> So nice. you say, do the rest or that's it all? Um, no, that's enough. That's enough. Smell charm. <laughs> so the next thing is one of starfish. Right. Awesome. So now we have our salt fish or salted cod. This is salted cod or pollock. Pollock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is pollock, but you can use salted cod. Some people say a snake, me does me no business. If a snake, once it cook, it can't eat. Hallelujah. I will pray over it because the prayer changes things. So if it's if it's snake, when we done pray for it, it turn into saltfish. <laughs> so now you just want to pick up your, you know, basically break it into small pieces, mm -hmm. bite-sized pieces, so that it can be easily dissimulated into the butter. You hear a big word, I see? Mm -hmm. and dissimulated. It's, it's boneless, but every now and then you come across um fine bone. An unruly bone that you know. mm -hmm. so this is the process that you once you have boiled your salt fish and taken out you have desalinated it then you are going to take out the you know bones if you find any and just start cleaning up with a view to add to the pot so and again if you have a meticulous person like my wifey, you will make sure that, you know, you pick up your something good. If I mean, no, me just fling in everything. Cause, you know. two bone here? Three bone. Mm -mm. 
So guys, look for the bones, even though the package may have said it's boneless. There's absolutely no guarantee that it will be bone free. So it might be less bones, but not bone free. Cause you know when them say boneless, they don't mean no bone, right? They mean less bone. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so I feel a lot of bones right here. Feeling the bones, feeling the bones, lots of bones, feeling the bones. So now we're just adding in this stuff. Why are you slow? Why are you adding so slow? <laughs> hey, my girl. Mm -hmm. Why are you adding it so slow for effect? This is a slow motion. Effect. Slow motion. Slow motion. All right. All right. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. What next? The next thing is your flour and all those other stuff okay okay so our flour is just measured out and that's three cups of flour all-purpose flour as i said we're making traditional um fritters today so it's three cups of all-purpose flour and a host of other ingredients so go ahead ma'am do your thing All right, so I have to add some baking powder so that it's nice and poofy. Mm -hmm. One teaspoon of baking powder. And you have to put your, you know, your nice herbs and spices, well, your spices, your seasonings. Garlic powder is amazing in fritters, so. I'm just estimating, but some people might not love it. So you can put the amount that you want. What's that? About a teaspoon? I would say this is about a, a teaspoon, yes. A little sprinkle of cayenne pepper, because we already have pepper, but this this just give it another oomph. And about a smidgen. Yeah, a half teaspoon of Laurie's seasoned salt, because the salt fish already is going to make it salty, so just a little bit. That's that look enough though. Mm -mm. And then a little sprinkle of paprika. Paprika helps to give it a nice color. Mm -hmm. If you have paprika, you can use a little curry. Mm -mm. No? No. It's two different colors. You all sit still. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so it's now time to add your liquid. liquid. So let me ask you a question. The amount of baking powder that you use, mm -hmm. is that based on your, what, how do you guesstimate the baking powder? Based on experience. <laughs> oh, okay. You go, girl. So we're going to add water now to the sutton. One. That's two cups of water right, added. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you guys from now, in terms of my butter for my fritters. More water. Are you making? Sure. So she me. In terms of the butter, my butter is always a little bit thicker than people are used to. Because she love thickness. Because how the, the fritters normally come out is that we want it to be small and poofy. Not, not flat. flat. Well, then, yeah, well. <laughs> Small and poofy, not flat. Hey. Small and poofy, not flat. Hey. Hey. Small and poofy, not flat. Small and so this see, can take more flour. Can take more flour. Because I'm looking, you can see the plethora of seasonings and fish. The plethora of flour. <laughs> so the amount of um. Seasonings or fillings or you know <clears throat> the fish far outweighs the flour. So I'm gonna put a little bit more 
and like an extra cup of flour, right? You agree? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, girl. Yes, it? Go ahead, girl. Make it, make it, make your thing, man. Mm -hmm. Make your thing. Some one more cup of flour, and then we continue with the batter. One more cup of flour, and then we continue with the batter. <laughs> One more cup of flour, and then we continue with the batter. Mixing the flour in the batter, and we add a little water. Yeah, add more water. So guys, we continue this until you get comfortable. And once you get comfortable with the amount of thickness or the amount of, you know, the dimensions of your batter, we move on the to the, oh, the consistency of the batter. Then we move on to the frying process, which is the favorite process. Mm -hmm. Because normally she do a testing, and I like when she tests about 12. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, so frying mix. No, hold on. Hold on. There's hold on a minute. That I forgot that is quite important, and it's your black pepper. Black pepper does give it a nice... Flavor. And freshly grounded black pepper is way better than the previously grounded one. I smell it. Oh my gosh. So nice. Okay. Alright, enough of that. Frying time now. It's frying time again. <laughs> I see the butter stirring. Frying time. Mixing over now, it's frying time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we are just adding a generous amount of oil because why why would we add so much oil babes well i think it's better to deep fry it usually my experience when you use a small amount of oil it easily absorbs the oil when you use a generous amount it deep fries it and doesn't do that oh, okay so we're adding our oil to our pan and this um the pan was previously I'm being heated and so we're gonna you know the pan never did that before you add the oil yeah but the oil still needs to And we're using a tablespoon to drop our fritters and it's sort of like a canal um, size and you just want to drop them in you know good spacing in and around the pot and you're not testing you never have to do testing you so you 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 are you um with me and you're confident mm -hmm. you say you want to test Mm-hmm. This look good. I can't wait for them fry. It hurt me. So you just want to pull out your pot, you know, with your fritters. And as as and you don't want it to put the, the flames um the fire too high because what will happen is that you'll get a very crispy outside, dark color, and the inside will still be raw. So you want to keep your flame at a moderate uh, pace, depending on your your um, your equipment, um, and then you're good to go. Don't babes. Yes, sir. Right true. Right true. Right through the rocky roads in Charlie Marley Cardi. See there. And that is your fritters being fried. You just continue the process until you're done with all of them. Yeah, I'm gonna show you when them start ready to turn. They're not ready to turn yet, boo. Uh -huh. Sometimes them get too clingy and you have to separate them. Right, separate the cleanses. Mm. Can't wait for the turning. Alright, so we're gonna test now if it's ready. Yeah, you know, because we're like, they're supposed to have a nice light brown color. Mm -hmm. You don't want them to be 
dark. Because when they're too dark, they're not attractive. So we are trying to say dark people not attractive or dark things not attractive. I didn't say dark people, I said critters. Come with us, I want to be racist. Shout out to the dark skin community, because I'm one of others. Okay. Let's see. Dark skin. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, but yeah guys so you want your fritters to have this nice light golden brown type of vibe and the camera is not doing it as 100 percent justice this is a sign that it's ready to turn when it starts to see the bubbles forming on the top so look out for the bubbles so you know it's frying through the bubbles shall reveal it and by the time the other side is done the two sides are going to end up become a little bit deeper so you just want to catch it at that right moment mm -hmm. you know as it is right now the smell is telling me it's the right moment yeah, it's not ready oh, i forget it it was overlooked the size and the puffiness is what i like yeah and it shouldn't be too airy if you put too much baking powder it becomes airy and your teeth just going it just crush it. Mm. you don't want it crush you want it you want a little you know? bit of bones and foodiness this. right yeah all the fritters them look them look like them going on it look like something happening look at pretty it is so so pretty yeah. i love it it's very pretty I love and guys before you know it the fritters are ready and we just put um some um absorbent paper on our toaster oven grill and we're just gonna place them on that all right so look how them look good them look real nice. I'm all this for you. Mm -mm. Oh. I have more control if I hold I was gonna thing. help. I want you to help because I'm ready for the fritters. Them time. Look <laughs> how them look good, guys. Hey, look on this golden brown. When we say golden, what golden mm. brown? Mm. The fritters, them just look so nice and delectable. You hear that big red? I know. Mm. Look at them golden brown. These are ready guys and we're just gonna continue this process until we are fully, fully fritterized. So that is your taste test batch? Yeah, this is my taste test batch. <laughs> wow. Look at that guys, look at that. And you just put them on this to absorb the, the, the oil, drain and everything. Yeah, and I'm gonna just put them in a little plate and make it set up nice. I'm telling you right now, you want to try one on camera, babes? Mind it burn, you know. Mm. It. You want to hold the camera and then let me do it then? Let me see the inside, mm. the cross section. See how, see how the inside look? Mm, guys, see that? It's hot. See it? You have your little, your little things, your ingredients, your... You have salt fish I show up, your little skelly and I show up, your onion and all of those things. You know? Mm, nice piece of salt fish. Try it. Tastes good? Have a buzz. Have a buzz. I feel very buzzish. So there you have it, guys. Mm-hmm. I put the pan the plate and make it look nice and make it gonna see it when it presented. Alright? Mmm. -hmm. Selfish. <laughs> it's a take life. Mm -mm. So guys, I have to do the reveal and do the reveal nice. Yeah? Make everybody love it. Our traditional Jamaican fritters. Done by the wifey. And presented by Moa. <laughs> Oh we look guys, jeez um peace! Look at look at look at look at look at I'm just have a nice little sauce on the side, you know, cause we, we we've been instructed to drink to make fritters now with sauce, drink sauce with fritters. Right, see? Who wants some of this? Listen, if you're in Port St. Louis and you need fritters done, call and make an order. It's done to order. Yeah? By the original fritters queen. Guys, taste good here. Messe can tell him how nice this tastes. Yeah, the belly TV. This is how we make our fritters. And we do hope that you will, you know, try to make yours um, a little bit like this and um, tell us how it tastes, how it come out. 
you know and uh, this is our traditional Jamaican saltfish fritters and the zoom and the close-up is to die for nice and puffy you know and not overly so good quality you know enough meat in every little bite and guys my mouth has salivate me can't bother so remember to like share subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend yeah the belly tv is doing it fritters 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 shut up and show more fritters <laughs> Oh my god. Once again, thank you so much for joining us today. Remember to look out for our live on Tuesday at 6 p.m. and on Thursday morning for breakfast live. We do it all over again at 10 a.m. Yadi Belly TV, Jamaican Fritters. One next banger. Big up on yourself. Hmm. Cheese and peace. I can't stop film. Oh, there's something nice. Watch your day. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Man, you burn up the rest from the stove. Mm -hmm.